I'm actually gonna throw off a commercial coat, regular coat. Boy Wolfie. Welcome back to more Wolfie aka Charles guys if you have not seen my Instagram bang As you guys can see ghost mode is now dropping in the next couple days I know I've been saying the next couple days over and over and over again We had some issues with the music video and all this stuff But today is the day that I can finally announce that ghost modes dropping so don't miss out music video song It's gonna be dropping on everything Apple music Spotify all of that So just get ready because this one's a Banger, and I'm actually going to Montreal to record more music today, so just like get ready for that. But yo, today we are doing part two of the TV ads in real life DIY hacks. So before we begin the video, guys, you love the last one, make sure to show some support on this one by smashing the like button. Then I got Amari Mids. Yeah. Yeah. Without further ado, let's get into the hack. So the first hack that we're gonna be doing today is very, very simple. One of the most common things advertised, Wendy's, McDonald's, whatever, but they all advertise with like the most refreshing looking drinks. But to get the perfect shot of a drink, you only have a limited window in time because when you pour the drink, the fizziness only lasts so much, okay? We're gonna see exactly how long that lasts. So we got Diet Coke right now. I'm actually not gonna drink this, even though I am on a diet. I'm, I'm not even drinking Coke. What do you mean? That's, that's good, that's food. diet. No, we're not, we're not coming at Coke. Not I love you guys. Sponsor me. <laughs> but yo, don't sponsor me. The people that drink Diet Coke and think you're healthy, you guys have some serious things to reconsider. So we got the Diet Coke and we're gonna time it. I brought my phone out. Once we pour it in the drink, in the glass, we only have a certain amount of time before the fizz goes away. So I got my timer out right now. So let's get a close up of me pouring it and see how long it lasts. This is a commercial. Oh yeah. You guys are cool aid man. Boom, boom. <laughs> You know the Kool-Aid guy? Jeez! Oh. It like, that's actually mad satisfying, the fact that it sits there. Jeez, this guy's poured a beer in his life a lot. I'm saying, bro. And yo, Diet Coke, fun fact, actually, the fizz lasts a little bit longer than regular Coke. For some reason, it's more carbonated, but it's already going down. We're at 26 what? seconds. If you didn't grab the perfect photo by now, you're out, because 32 seconds, and I'd say right about, oh, it's still good. You think so? I'm saying right now. 40 seconds is when the whole top layer is done. So you don't see any fizz on top after 40 seconds. Yeah, you can kind of see that it's carbonated. If we shake it around a bit, we can kind of regain a bit of carbonation, but even then, it's like whatever. They don't do that in commercials because I know in 40 seconds, if I know any girl's Instagram page, you're not getting any good photos. It's gonna take at least 10 minutes for a mirror selfie that took you one second. Girls, I'm throwing shade at you. But yo, there's the secret ingredient. This is called Alka-Seltzer. Basically, if you have an upset stomach, you take some of these pills and they, they get rid of it. And you put this in liquid, it like fizzes up. Anyways, you're gonna see. So, we're gonna take two of these pills out of here. All we need is two. Gee, why is there so many? Yo? Okay, I only need two of these. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do them all out. So anything over 40 seconds is better than what we would have originally had. Fresh Diet Coke out here. Same thing we're gonna do here, except like one word. These big, big pills, we're gonna put in. Supposed to we're gonna put them in first. Holy hell. They're pretty dutty. You're supposed to swallow them? No, you're still not. I was gonna say, that's... <laughs> that's a big pill. Yes. <laughs> you're gonna choke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yo, so we're gonna put them there. I wanna put them on the back because I don't want them to be too visible when I pour the liquid in. Same thing here. 40 seconds is what we're going to break because we want the ultimate fizziness. So we're gonna start the timer. Go. Like one words. Peep this. Already, bro, I'm not even done the coke and it's already at the top. Already, bro, look at Why is this one more fizzy than the last one? Look at how fizzy that is, bro. Look at how fizzy that is. Holy hell. So Alka Setzer, Holy Hulk. Me. Hulk, hack, hack. Okay, Alka Setzer, Hulk. Bro, peep Jeez. this. Don't What's you it? see that it, bro, it's still fizzing at the top? It's been 28 seconds. We're not even close to guanine. And you can see all the texture and all that shit along the sides. Look, it's actually having, it's bro, actually it's going, going bro, look, look. 40 seconds, so the, the fizz at the top is gone, but yo, how refreshing does that coke look, bro? If you just look at it from the top and the side, it's still like glistening, bro. And like one more here. Here you go. Like you can pretty much, all you need is the unlimited of these pills. Why is it doing that? And it goes on forever. Oh, so yo, look how much more fizz. I think it's safe to say, cause after a minute, we are still fizzing and it looks hella refreshing. Like the water and everything is dancing on the top of the cup. I, I don't know what you guys, but that looks- I swear it even got colder. It got colder, bro. You know what? And there's no ice in there. Imagine if ice was in there. Okay, all I'm saying is first hack, very easy, but I think it's, I mean, look at them, look at them. Compare the two Cokes. This Commercial one. Coke, regular Coke. I think it's safe to 
to say the, the hack's way better. Like, next hack. Hack number two. Jeez, you bought me lunch? I feel like I throw a lot of shade at them. But yo, low-key McDonald's, out of any brand, you guys know I love you the most. Yo, they sent me a crew neck of McDonald's merch, bro. That's so shout out McDonald's, no shade to them, but everybody knows when you go to McDonald's, I mean, look, I didn't even open this bag until now. I got a couple large fries. This is what you get. I don't know if that's full. I think it's safe to say when you dine in anywhere, they're always gonna give you something better than when you like take it out or you go through a drive-thru. Like you, if you have an issue with the food, you can walk to them and say, yo, like, what's good with my fries? Like I want more fries. But because I did the drive-thru, I have like little soggy fries. I've been letting them sit for a while, so it's kind of my fault. But at the same time, does this look appetizing? Like if you've seen this on a commercial, would you think it looks appetizing? You know, to be honest, anything with that M looks appetizing. Facts, that's very facts. But everything with an M looks appetizing in the first mm. hour. If you wait an hour to eat McDonald's, it's nowhere near what it was in the first hour. <laughs> so basically, I got a bunch of fries because this is what we are gonna be comparing things to. This is the three large fries. I mean, this one's probably the best. Gee. That one's all bought. Dang, they thought you were eating in with this one. You know what I'm saying? These two, they thought were to go. They're like, yeah, you can go on, you can go on. Yeah. But I think it's safe to say that none of these, no shade, McDonald's, I love you guys. None of these is like commercial worthy. It has to be appealing, but we have to make these better. So the hack for the McDonald's fries, apparently this is what they do. I couldn't find toothpicks at the store for some reason, so I picked up these things. We're gonna have to crack these in half. And then it involves wet foam, what AKA the, the most satisfying shit to touch. Oh, that this shit. shit is like, okay, I don't want to dent uh. it up too much. It's literally called wet foam. So I picked up wet foam in this, and apparently the hack is every single fry individually. But like you, you take one fry at a time, no, and you're gonna stick this in the bottom of the fry. What? To hold it up. Whose job is that? Each That's individual. I, I don't know whose so, job that is. In the back of it, it's jabbing out like this. But from the front, it's standing up pretty late. So now we are going to take a quick little break. I'm gonna give you guys like a time lapse of this so you can see that we're doing it. Break these in half and stick them in McDonald's fries individually. But we have to find the perfect fries, so let's do it. Okay guys, so it has been <laughs> at least five or 10 minutes right now. This takes longer than expected. Omar's on his wave of doing multiple at once. He's yeah. trying to save some time. But yo, this is what we managed to do. We still got a lot of fries here, and then we have the fries that we're gonna be comparing it to. I put both McDonald's boxes together. Not bad! Okay, now let's shove these into the wet foam. And the next step is to cut like a piece that we can shove into the McDonald's box, but it still can't be visible. So I'm saying like one, two words. We need a boat here. Take all this. That How is the satisfying. most satisfying thing I've ever done in my life. Peep this. Oh, oh my god! At least a couple more. E it glides. Come on. <laughs> Let me try one. Let me try one. Let me try one. Yo, yo, yo. Oh my. Dude, that's... that might be more satisfying than slime. It's a little too wide, so I'm gonna cut off, you know. Little... Now we're gonna shove this in the McDonald's box, like so. Maybe. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little too boxy, huh? Right? Maybe. Try that one more time. Like so. No, and now no. we can start shoving in the fries. Just like one at a time, guys. We can line them up and we can make them look exactly how we want them to look. Are you kidding? So that's gonna take a while, but we'll come back in a sec. So after 15 minutes of work, just to get one perfect box of McDonald's fries, we are done. Now we have the original box of fries. It's dented, fam. Make it look a little more appealing than that. <laughs> but for commercials, you're gonna need something like this. <laughs> Yo, come on, bro. Comparison-wise, where I can shape this everywhere, it's not wanting. Like, it's not it's not moving. Like, this is a <laughs> wet fries sogging on each other. Why are these looking? They're just versus sitting. the perfect fry, every single one. I layered them so that they look as appealing as possible. <laughs> I, I don't know, guys. I just, I think this might have been the best hack we've done to date so far. So, 10 out of 10 for that one. Forgot to rate the one earlier, so that one's also a 10 out of 10. Let's go! McDonald's fry hack. I guess we know how they do the commercials. So, next hack, kind of going back to the theme of the drink hacks. This one is super simple. Similar to the Diet Coke one, there's two things that make a drink appealing in advertisement. The first thing is if it's fizzy, obviously if it's a soft drink. The second thing, if it's not a soft drink, for example, Gatorade is seeing like the little mist on the outside where it gets foggy because that means that the drink is really cold because if you have ice in the drink, it gets really cold and if you leave the ice for long enough, the glass itself looks cold, which looks really appealing because colder drinks, for the most part, people enjoy more than warmer drinks. So, I have two glasses here. I got a 
bunch of ice. I'm gonna split the ice up evenly. This one's super quick. Put the same amount of ice into each one, and I'm gonna pour the same amount of Gatorade into each one. So one of them, I'm gonna load up like this to the top, and we might even be able to use the rest of this Gatorade for this one, yeah. Same level. Yo, is this from, these are leftovers from your hangover from New Year's? The what? The Gatorade. I don't even drink. Oh, okay. So okay. these must be. Can I have that for my hangover then? No, these are for um, that thingy, that oh, race yeah. that I was gonna, cause I'm training for the triathlon. Oh, that race, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, what, what is like 160 k race? 160 k race. I don't Jeez. know, some light. Yeah, yeah, some <laughs> So we have the two drinks here. As you guys can see, they both look good because they both have ice in them. Problem is, on the outside, to get that liquid condensation on the outside, it takes bare time. We don't have time. Commercial people don't have time. The hack is like, stop. The outer ranch. <laughs> I Fam, I was looking for that, bro. I literally bought that two days ago. Why are you? I love old. That's why you've been smelling like me. I can me. say that because they uh, they sponsored me before. You know, so, so we have the regular one right here, and on this one, all you have to do. Let's get a close up on this one. Spray us. Condensations. What the? So I don't know if you can see, okay, it smells really yeah, I was gonna like see deodorant it. in here. But now if we compare the two, can you see the difference? I can kind of see the difference on this one. This one looks like wetter on the outside. Can you see on, does the camera pick it up? Yeah, it actually Eli, does. let me see this. Oh, 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 oh. Which one are you guys drinking? Drinking this one or this one? Her Old Spice Gatorade. <laughs> Or <laughs> this one. Now it's dripping. I definitely put way too much on, but that one looks ice cold like it came out of the Arctic. Do not drink this, by the way, guys. Don't drink it. And if you try this at home, just please be aware that this one is covered in deodorant. So uh -huh. it's definitely not drinkable, but super easy to do. I don't know if I'm ever gonna drink out of this again, but it definitely is the best smelling glass of all time. All right. Out of 10, I would say that one is definitely like a five. That one's definitely not one of the best ones that we've done, but it kind of works. So five out of 10. Yo, can I, can I have that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This might have a little leftover deodorant in it though. Perfect. So be very, very careful. Like two words, smelly boy. Drink it. Oh, open. You're dead. All right, Charles, what we got next, bro? Ketchup? Next hack. This one is probably the most weird one I've seen to date. Other than the glue in the cereal, that one was kind of zoot too. I mean, you can't eat that, but this one is just as weird. So ketchup, everybody knows the struggle of ketchup. Low key, I just knew it two years ago because two years ago is when I started eating ketchup because I was a picky eater. So now I know it, but yo, when you buy ketchup, everybody knows that ketchup gets runny. There's always the liquidiness, which is why they always tell you, shake the ketchup before you eat it. So the ketchup pack, look at this. You're eating fries or chicken nuggets. Mm. You want ketchup, it looks appetizing. It does, but as you guys can see, over time, we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes. It's gonna spread out, and it's not gonna be as appetizing as that nice mountain of ketchup, because that's what you want, a mountain of ketchup. So the hack for this one is kind of weird. Basically, the hack can be used, apparently, for like ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, anything of that consistency, so that it stays in its shape. Even though it gets a little runny, it still holds like the middle shape, which is like the most important shape, because when you have like a nice mountain of ketchup on top of each other, it's wavy. So for this one, they actually use wax. So I picked up some wax cubes from the store, and apparently, it's not just all wax you mix it in with the ketchup because the wax when it dries it holds its shape better than the ketchup So this stuff is vanilla flavored or vanilla scented. It smells actually delicious. Shout out Glade. Sponsor me We're gonna take this stuff out We're gonna throw it all in there and we're gonna put it in the microwave for one two. It looks like some giant starburst Yeah, they, they kind of do except they're not even squishy bro. This is just straight wax. It's oh, like it candle wax fire it smells amazing So I'm gonna put this in the microwave. I'll be back. Okay, so I just took it out of the microwave after being there for like five minutes I thought it would be fully melted still not completely melted it kind of does look like ketchup. So wait, that's the ketchup. No, it looks like ketchup when you don't compare it that's to ketchup. That's the ketchup? Wait, what does it look like? <laughs> yeah, the wax. But yo, so this is where we take the actual ketchup now, because the wax is gonna start to dry, it's super hot, um, and we're gonna have to just let it sit, but we're gonna throw some ketchup in there as well. So it's gonna be a mix of ketchup and wax. I'm probably never gonna use this bowl again. I'm gonna have to use a spoon that I'm willing to throw out, which is gonna be this one, I guess. So we're gonna let that mix around, and uh, but as you can see, this, that was once a nice pile of ketchup that I wanted to dunk my fries in, now looks like a nice little lake of dookie. Now? Almost as gross as this. <laughs> <laughs> That does not look appetizing. I should have let it, I should have let it get more liquidy alive. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. That looks disgusting. That looks like gum in a bowl with ketchup. I don't know. That? It's gonna be, and it smells bad too, with the ketchup in it too. Vanilla and ketchup are not mixed. Oh my god. It smells awful. <laughs> Who came up with this? Whose idea is, yo, let's put wax and ketchup, fam. It'll make it look nicer. This is the yo, one yo, hack. Yo. This is the commercial ketchup. This 
is ketchup after sitting out for multiple days. Oh, Holy that's what it is. Geez, All right. I wish guys. <laughs> so as you guys can see, it did look kind of dookie because there was multiple consistencies in there. But right now, the wax is starting to dry up. So now we are able to, oh, bro. I can't with that smell, I can't with that smell. Well, right, here we go. Mix it up. <sighs> when are you doing the taste test? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever inhale this, guys. Don't ever eat this. Now it looks like tomato sauce. It's look, it's getting better. Crushed tomatoes, not tomato sauce. Crushed tomatoes. We gotta mold it a little bit better. My Z is probably H right now. Make a mouth in the middle, <laughs> and there you go. There you have it. Whoa, that's actually. I mean, <laughs> I think we all. <laughs> Kale. <laughs> <laughs> that one would have been better. If I put more time into it, but I'm actually gonna throw off if I smell yeah. ketchup and vanilla one more time. I thought it was supposed to be a hack. So, uh, what on that note, 10 out of 10! Next one, some light. You guys already know what it is. <laughs> when we do what we do. Oh, shit. Broken glass, broken when we glass. do what we do what we do. Yo, we're out here with the pound cake! No Drake, no Jay Z. No pound cake, no pound cake. Broken pound cake. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Put dollar dollar bills. <laughs> you already know. So I got the pound cake here. This one is a very simple hack. On some commercials, or I think I've seen this done before, I don't know why they do this because this is the most extra TV commercial fast food hack that I've ever seen. But, oh, dude, I know your mom made these. Look guys, the shit. mom -aids. These are moms. Okay, yo, we have the pound cake. There's two things that you can do to this thing. So basically, I'm gonna cut a nice little uh, loaf right here in diagonally. Right mm. here, cut it nice, kind of satisfying. That's so, nice in regular, Cakes. In order for this to be appetizing, what they would do is that they would grab this, yeet, some icing, icing shukara. And uh, I think this is like the worst hack that I'm about to do today. Might be worse than the ketchup one, but for some reason, these are actual hacks that people use. So when you're putting a piece of pound cake on top of another piece of pound cake, what you wanna do is you want to put lots of icing like this, along, along the edges especially, to be appetizing, because when you place one on top of the other. No way. Watch this, put this back on. It looks good, it could look better. As you guys can see, the icing is getting nicely squished in there. I mean, I don't even say the word nicely, to be honest, because it's just getting <laughs> squished in there. Squish. It's just squish up. So, it's not bad. Like, if you're hungry, hungry, it's like 3 a.m. in the middle of the night, you got munchies, you're eating it. But, if you don't, and you need to be advertised when you are already full, and you need something so good, so luxurious, don't watch this video, because that's not what I'm about to make. I'm about to make something slightly better than this, at best. So, this one, we're gonna do the same thing we did in the last one. So, diagonal cut, down the middle. Next step, we're gonna grab cardboard. You're like, what, what? are we doing, bro? Cardboard's not edible. I know, all these hacks are not edible, low key. We're gonna measure it to be the same size as the cake, so we're gonna place cake on here. It's gonna be all right, we're gonna make it a little bit smaller because we don't want it to poke out the sides. Perfect! Bro, literally the perfect, perfect piece. Right there. Mm. It looks like peanut butter. Looks like peanut butter. Right from here it looks like peanut butter. So a really nice spread peanut butter, but not crunchy. Only the smooth one. <laughs> Next step is we're gonna get the toothpicks that I thought I didn't have, which I definitely have. We are going to put a toothpick through one end of the cardboard and through the pound cake. Now, the reason we're doing this is to like separate, they do this with burgers too. They do this to separate the two pieces of pound cake so they are no longer squishing the icing. Break this in half because we only need half for the bottom. Same thing, poke it through here. Now these are gonna be used to hold the top piece of pound cake, like so. Now you can still see the cardboard, but the only reason you can still see it is because I haven't covered it up. The icing is no longer gonna get squished. So now we can do the same technique, except we don't even need to put it everywhere. For the commercial, we just need to fill in the gap. As you guys can see, it's literally not losing any shape because it's not getting squished. I don't know much about food marketing, but these both look. Do they both look? I mean. If you had to eat one, which one are you eating? Comment down below. Comment down below, which one are you eating? Personally? Let me see. Yeah, probably one on the left still. Period, you're eating the one on the left because the icing is no longer getting squished. Life hacks the Wolfie, but if you look at the back of this one, uh, nothing's there. Is that cardboard? Cardboard is there and you'll stab yourself with the toothpick, so don't take a bite of it, please. This is low key. I'd say like a 6.5 out of 10, because it's not terrible, but it's like, I don't know, it's like really, really going extra. Yeah, you can. I mean, all you have to do is really add a little more icing and the icing would stay. I've seen Cake Boss and they make nice cakes that are completely edible, <laughs> so it's definitely doable, but you know, 6.5 out of 10, A for effort, next hack. So for the last hack of the day, don't worry, we're gonna be doing more guys if you with these hacks. Make sure to go down and smash that like button. I have so many more in mind that I want to do. All I need is a little inspiration. Comment down below if you guys have some hacks that you want me to do and I'll test them out because I'm DIY God and everything works just like the ketchup. Right? Oh my God. <laughs>
<laughs> definitely works. It's like definitely so good. So today, the last hack we have is the chicken one. In every commercial involving chicken, for the most part, they have the nicest grill marks on them where they're nicely grilled on the barbecue. They look so so delicious and juicy, but apparently they don't actually do that for commercials. I can do that in real life, but it takes so long. So we have two pieces of chicken. One we're gonna use for commercial, one we're gonna use for regular, because apparently they don't even really fully cook the chicken for the commercials. I don't know why they wouldn't just do that. <laughs> just get a nice chef to come in and do it. Oh but good, good start, because this isn't cooked either. Good start. We have stuff that is not even thought out. We're just gonna like throw it on the stoves with avocado oil, because obviously diet is always an effect. All we need to do is cook the outside. Chef Wolfie, is this the first time ever they've seen Chef Wolfie? Yeah. Oh, look at that flip, flip it, flip it, flip it. Here. Ah. If they told you that inside matters, they were lying to you your whole life. Inside doesn't matter as you're about to see. Outside matters. Only about the appearance. That's you why. You don't have the appearance, it's all. I'm joking guys, inside matters, personality matters. I'm not even, okay, we, there you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yo, I'm gonna cut these out of the, the wrapper right here. Why is it pre-cut? Is this your first time cooking? Why is it pre-cut? Probably fillets, yo. <coughs> nope, chicken breast. Tara. <laughs> Guys, everyone comment down below. Tara, what are you doing? That's my assistant, and I don't know what she got. I'm joking, Tara. I love it. It looks kind of fire, though. But, like, what is this? I would love to buy breast like that. Here we go. Cute. One breast. Nice little grill. We got to keep that together, so we're going to cook it as one. And then the second chicken breast. We'll be back when we cook the outside. Ah, oh, come on. Bro, I put too much avocado oil, and the shit is like... Going everywhere. No. No. But yo, it's been on for two minutes and this is already looks yeah. like cooked. Kind of appetizing. Kind of appetizing, low key. You should just finish cooking and eat it after. Definitely. Definitely. Could be a vibe. Until we put the secret sauce on it. <laughs> mm. Come on, I told you he's a chef. Extra I told you he's a chef. If every side is not cooked even here, it won't go on. We're laying the edges, baby. We're laying the edges. Oh, don't fall apart. Tara! Oh. Looks like we're making a stir fry. Okay, so the two chicken breasts almost look perfectly done. As you guys can see, there's nothing that would give it off that it's not cooked. Just look at it from the front angle, okay? No, no one on TV can see it from the top. You only see it from the side. But there's only one thing. So obviously, there's a few things you need to add to chicken. Every chicken should have a little bit of pepper. So they see it has seasoning. I told you the chef, man. It's appetizing. I told you the chef. Appetizing. Only chefs have the actual peppercorn okay. side. Thing. No one grates pepper like me. Jeez. Second thing, obviously, Salt, salt and pepper go hand in hand. Put Jeez, there's salt. a salt one too. But it's like on. sea salt. Oh, salt that up. I never eat none of that on my stuff. I'm too sweet to be really? salty. <laughs> but the most important ingredient, we are going to add the keg steak seasoning. I know it's not steak, but steak seasoning on chicken, it's a fucking buy. So, bam, you already know what it is. Add that for the leco seasoning. That's looking dumb vibes. So now both of these chickens are completely even. They both look cooked, they both look wavy, they both look delicious, but one of them is missing the crucial ingredient. And we don't want to barbecue it because we don't have time. We cook this in three minutes. Barbecue, look outside. Look outside, it's snowing. I'm not going out there. There's no way I'm going out there. We have this magic rod, okay? It's just a metal rod. Now what we're gonna do, turn on the stove. Hold this over the stove for literally barely any time. So guys, when you are too lazy and you want to just seem like a chef and you're not actually going to eat it, you're going to heat it up for about 30 seconds. This is for all those guys who don't know how to cook. Put it in the microwave, heat it up. Take this metal rod, marks on it. go over here and go like this. Come on! Like here. It's actually burning it. <laughs> Yo, like what barbecue? Yeah! She actually smells kind of good now. Yeah, we're low key cooking it. It's cooking it, yeah. What barbecue, fam? Yo, try to get some some even lines, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to get some even lines. <laughs> this guy's burning the stick. I don't know if you guys can see, it's fully on fire. <laughs> it's fully on fire! It's the chicken. It's on fire. It's the chicken that's on it. I mean, I feel like we should you should just barbecue at this point. You, you know, know what I mean? Why is this a hack? This is definitely putting you back a step. Yeah. Here I come. Thousand degree sword. Holy the smoke? Want smoke? Hey, Come bro. on! Ah! Jeez. That's fresh off the barbecue. I don't know what you're talking about. That's fresh off the barbecue. You guys get the point, and I'm not trying to burn down my house. So, that's the last hack. Now, I'm actually gonna shock you guys what I'm about to show you. You would think, as just like a regular person that just sees this food, you're gonna be like, yo, this fully cooked. Okay, bless. So then, what's this then? Fun fact, when you actually cut it open, you can see... <laughs> Whoa. It's raw AF. It's this called is, it's called rare. This is no, this is beyond rare. It's called this medium rare. This is not edible. I don't know what this is, but from the outside with the barbecue marks and everything, it looks honestly it looks good. But it's definitely not edible. And guys, I have to say the barbecue marks make it I'd say at least 
two points up on the scale more attractive than just the regular one. I should have got just regular pieces, but these are just, let's hold it together like this. Pretend like it's To be honest, together. that one looked more appetizing than that. Which one? This nah, one. this one definitely did. This one is this. <laughs> this one definitely looked more appetizing because uh, the barbecue cake. On that note, guys. The only hack we learned is the steak spice on chicken. <laughs> That's the only hack I took from this. Ketchup. I don't know about you guys. Okay, oh. guys, I think I need to redeem myself for a part three. Smash the like button if you want to see a part three. Remember to stay tuned for the music video. The Ghost Mode music video is dropping in, I mean, it's right here. This is the date that it's dropping on, so stay tuned, guys. That's gonna be literally fire, and it's gonna be available on everything, Apple Music, Spotify, all that. So make sure to go support your boy. I mean, the song's fire, so it's gonna speak for itself. Shout out to Omari for filming a video. Yeah. Like, Tsunami yeah. is out as well. Jeez, I look beat on this camera. Okay. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Tsunami is out. I'll put Omar's most recent song in the description as well. Go stream that. Anyways, guys, I'm headed off to Montreal right now to go record two new songs and film a few more bangers before I go back to LA. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon on More Wolfie, where we stay. On More Wolfie, a.k.a. Charles, where we stay a little bit more savage on my main channel. And I don't... Stay savage. Stay savage.